Hey guys, Howard here again. Uh, somebody asked me the other day if I might post a video for beginning guitar players, for those of you just getting started on guitar. And since I've never done that thus far, I thought that might be nice to do and I can share with you guys uh, what I've done in my private instruction for a number of years. So there's only three or four things uh, that you're going to be doing on guitar. You know, if you're playing with a pick, you're going to be strumming chords. <laughs> And if you're not strumming the chords, you're going to be arpeggiating them, meaning uh, playing the individual notes. That type of thing, okay? So those are two things that you want to get down right away, along with just your basic chords. And if you're not strumming or arpeggiating a chord, you're playing single notes, one note at a time, which is called a riff. Anything can be a riff, okay? And if you're not doing that, then you might be doing uh, some finger picking, a finger style approach. Okay, but what I'm going to focus on for this beginning guitar lesson is playing a couple of basic chords, maybe even three or four, and just getting a basic, very common strumming pattern down, okay? So the first chord I'm going to be using is an E minor, which is just a two string chord, a second fret on the fifth string, the fifth string being the second from the top, and the second fret on the fourth string, okay? And you want to play all six strings. And pluck through each string one at a time, making sure all of the notes are clear. Now what we want to do is we want to get just a basic strumming pattern going that goes like this. So what I'm doing in my right hand is down, up, down, up, up, down. Down, up, down, up, up, down. And the idea is that every song has a downbeat. And so when the downbeat is happening, you should be on a downstroke. When the upbeat happens, you should be on an upstroke. That way you're playing in the pocket or playing in the groove, okay? Now we want to take that chord shape and simply slip it down to the next two strings and that becomes an A sus2. And what we want to do is just try to get between those two chords. It's a great way to start if you're just getting started on guitar. You're learning a solid strumming pattern that you'll find in a lot of songs and you'll probably be able to move this shape a lot easier than if you were going to an extravagantly different chord, but we will get to some different chords, okay? So we want to play this. Just moving back and forth. Now for the A2 chord, you may have noticed I stay off of the top string. So you play all six strings for the E minor, but you only play five strings for the A sus2, okay? And again, you just want to get going back and forth, back and forth, trying to make it sound as smooth and solid as possible. Now, before we move to any other chords, let's practice arpeggiating those chords as well. So we're going to start with the top string, the sixth string on the guitar, and we're going to play four downstrokes, walking right through the strings. And then swinging down to the bottom string, the first string, four upstrokes. And you want to play those as evenly as possible, what's called eighth notes. One and two and three and four and. Practice doing the same thing on the A sus2. And again, you're starting from the fifth string, but you're still going down four strings and up four strings.
Now, once you get used to doing that, try mixing that up with the strumming. thing to practice and to get you going on guitar. At this point you want to add maybe a couple more chords to the picture, okay? So we're going to move from, these are two finger chords that we just played, we're going to move from those to uh, a three finger chord. This is called a C add nine. My second finger is on the third fret on the fifth string, first finger is on the second fret on the fourth string, and then my ring finger is in the third fret on the second string, okay? We're not using the top string for this chord at all. Same strumming pattern, and you can arpeggiate that chord as well, of course. So you can add that to the mix and uh, we're going to go ahead and add a big G chord to it. So moving from the C add 9, take these two fingers in exactly this shape and slip them up to the top two strings. Keep your ring finger where it was, so we're simply moving from here to up here and then we're going to add the pinky to the first string, the bottom string at the third fret, okay? So we've moved from two two-finger chords to a three-finger chord to a four-finger chord. So those four chords together sound like this. And of course you can arpeggiate those as well. So I think that's a great way to get started and uh, I hope you've enjoyed the lesson. Of course there's many more things for a beginning guitar player to get into but this is just a quickie lesson uh, to kind of get you going on the guitar a little bit. There's lots of information available online of course you can look up chords and everything for days. I would recommend getting down uh, a nice collection of chords, common chords, that live around the first three frets on the guitar. C, D, A minor, E minor, all of those, and uh, I'm sure you can easily find those online just about anywhere. Just plug in guitar chords, right? So anyway, I hope you've enjoyed it, and uh, maybe I'll do a follow-up to this uh, to take it to the next level, okay? All right, thanks for watching.